When it comes to NASA and the Apollo missions, it's easy to get distracted by all the myths, the conspiracy theories and the hoax claims. And yes, they are fascinating subjects that I will cover in depth in future episodes. But for now, I'd like to cover specifically what Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong allegedly saw on that first moonwalk and some transcripts of missing radio transmissions which fueled some unusual rumours. There were two minutes of unaccounted radio silence. Possibly one of the most unusual reports is the one of Buzz Aldrin opening the hatch of the Eagle after landing on the moon and came face to face with a transparent being. I saw this illumination that was moving with respect to the stars. We were smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. Technically, it becomes an unidentified flying object. So, back to the missing two minutes of radio transmission. And it's not that the radio was malfunctioning, it's because Armstrong switched to the medical channel and spoke with Chief Medical Officer William Carpenter. And the conversation that followed was nothing short of mind-blowing. Before we have a look at this fascinating exchange, please take a moment to just subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out. The mirrors in question is a panel of 100 mirrors pointing at Earth, the Lunar Laser Ranging Retro Reflector Array. Sorry to the tinfoil hat brigade, but we did get to the moon. Now, back on Earth, Neil Armstrong is said to have disclosed his account of what he saw with Buzz to an unnamed professor during a NASA symposium. He said, it was incredible, of course, we had always known there was a possibility. In fact, we were warned off. There was never any questions then of a space station or a moon city. The professor replied, how do you mean warned off? Armstrong said, I can't go into details except to say that their ships were far superior to ours, both in size and technology. Boy, they were big and menacing. No, there is no question of a space station. So make of that what you will. Dig deeper. Keep an open mind and always embrace the strange. <laughs> 